Okay, review time. Hello, hello. <laughs> review time. I would say, uh, in terms of gameplay uh, in general, in terms of gameplay in general, uh, the fighting. Fighting is very fluid, very, very dynamic, very fun. It's very, very cool uh, to play. The VFX are super cool. Um, the, the gameplay is absolutely not hard at all. It's very easy to grasp. Anyone can play this game. There's no difficulty. It's not a souls like. It's not even. It's not. There's no challenge at all. I was playing the game in, cha in challenge mode uh, from the beginning. I didn't. I wasn't in. So there's two modes in the game. You can play the game in uh, story mode or in challenge mode. And I did the war game in challenge mode. And I'm telling you, it's not challenging at all. It's not difficult. It's very easy. You can mash the buttons like crazy. It. Uh, you will do the thing. You will win. You will succeed. Okay. There's no challenge. So it's a very, very chill. I would say it's very ch in terms of gameplay. It's not chill. It's very dynamic, but it's uh, chill in the in the um, in the way that there's no difficulty. Uh, control with the controls, with the, the way you fight, with the, the the parries and the dodge. It's not. You only have to. The only difficulty would be that you'd think to parry is a special button. But to parry, I mean, it's. Uh, I I wouldn't expect the parry to be on the space bar. You know, <laughs> I didn't expect the parry to be on the space bar. And also, like, um, I I expected the switch and the combo to be on the perfect dodge. But actually, perfect dodging don't do much. Uh, it's better to parry with the space bar than to perfect parry. Hey, welcome back, Draco. I was doing my review. I'm doing. I mean, I am doing my review. So yeah. So no difficulty. A lot of fun. Very dynamic. Uh, you don't have to be good at perfect dodging. Um, being good at perfect parry can can make the game way funnier. Of course, it's better when you know how to perfect parry. But you can also mash your head on your, the keyboard and and win, succeed. <laughs> <laughs> it's very easy um very easy gameplay very i was in challenging mode i'm telling you i was in challenge for the war game it wasn't challenging at all uh the only um yeah, in terms so that the gameplay in terms of gameplay is very 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 accessible very friendly very very dynamic very fun so if you want fun and all that it's very cool gameplay <laughs> I don't want any more. We were hologram. Go bless the common fun fight. Yeah, it's not calm, but it's very fun and dynamic. Yeah, uh, it's very fun and dynamic, and it's not difficult. So if you want difficulty, it's not the game for you. <laughs> you can put difficulty by I don't know playing one single character. I don't know maybe, and even then I don't think there's a difficulty at all. Um, so if you like. Uh, not using brain and just mashing keys, that's good. <laughs> it's a good game. <laughs> and it has very dynamic gameplay and it has a lot of cool VFX, so it's very fun in that term. Um, it's a bit easy, so you can play it very chill. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's easy, yeah. It's very easy, easy gameplay. You don't have to be very, very uh, hardcore player or hardcore trained in the fighting games and all that <laughs> they have a hard mode yeah i mean challenge mode when you choose when you choose between easy mode and hard mode i chose the hard mode so i've been playing the hard mode from the beginning so that's what i said Rako. i've been i've been playing the hard mode since the beginning because i chose the hard mode <laughs> so yeah I did, I did the hard mode since the beginning, but even the hard mode is not very challenging. You just have to, to maybe know how to parry, but even perfect dodge is not that important. But yeah, so <laughs> that's for the gameplay. Uh, VFX are very beautiful, very nice, cartoonish, very dynamic and uh, very... If you like very colorful VFX that are uh, kind of um flashing your eyes <laughs> and flashing your screen and uh, very i mean very vibrant colorful vfx you're you're served with this game it's very nice 
Uh, in terms of um, story, story time, story in the game. So the story, uh, story has very cool animation. Characters are funny. Uh, expressions of the characters are cool. Uh, the style, the comic style, is very fun, very, very, very dynamic. Uh, the the voice acting is very, very good. Excellent voice acting, I would say. Uh, I loved looking at the expression they gave to the characters. Um, I love I love the way they presented the story. But the story itself so far... Animation is top of the game. Yeah, it's. Uh, I would say the best part of the game is the animation expression and voice acting, I would say. But... <laughs> uh, oh, Ekran, okay, bye-bye, Ekran! Bye. It's okay, we get we arrive in the end, so you can go now. Bye bye. Thank you. Right. So and uh, the story storytelling was very fun. Very I like the comic idea. We can see the persona reference. We can see how they get a lot of reference from persona. We we get attached to get to the character, especially Billy. <laughs> it's very fun. I love him. He's very cool. Uh, the the way they behave and all that. But. But the story so far is, um, I mean, nothing much is happening, but it's normal. It's the, the beginning of the game, so <laughs> nothing much is happening. We don't have much information about the holo place, the holo things. Uh, we, we just got to get uh, information about the proxy and all, all the characters and then we know we have gangs but uh, we don't know really like we are the good guys but the bad guys I mean we do know a little bit but we know there's like a lot of uh, parties in the story but we don't get a lot of explanation about why there are so many gangs and what they do for real uh, so in terms of story, uh, we have yet to see more. I would say it's because it's the beginning of the game, so of course it's normal that the story for now is um, slow. But it's normal, we're just at the beginning, so we can't really judge yet uh, about the story. But so far, I would say the story was uh, classic, you know? Like every, like every other game, uh, it starts slow, it is... Uh, I mean, it starts slow. It's very dynamic, fast-paced and funny, but it's in terms of lore, the lore itself, getting to know the lore, getting to know the information. Uh, it, it's slow in that term. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so so this story, the way the story is, is uh, counted, is said, is very cool, very fun, very fast-paced uh, in terms of the way, I mean, very comic and funny, funny going, I would say. But the lore itself is very... For now, we have a lot of information, but without giving us what they are about. So, for example, they would say a name of something. Let's say I say a... Uh, there, there is a game called Beta Blue Book. <laughs> it's not in the game, it's an example. And they will not tell you what that game do. <laughs> <laughs> so that's basically what it is. It's uh, for now we don't have a lot of informations, but that we have a lot of uh, names and a lot of data and stuff, but not details about what they do and what they are here for, uh, why it exists, and we, uh, you know, the word building is basically word building. For for now we just got to know about the characters and the characters' behavior and uh, um. Uh, kind of mentality it's more about about that for now and for now the story basically the story is we need to retrieve boxes and the box a specific box that contain important information and that box was uh, stuck in a hollow and the hollows are some sort of space distorted space with monsters that's basically it so we'll see eventually afterward how the story goes but i think it's just like any other game it begins very slowly in terms of lore and world building and uh, later on we're gonna get and have more uh more hardcore stuff more and more uh, stuff. uh in terms of um 
mindset i would say it's very chill it's not it's very funny and chill it's not like all dark and oh no deaths everywhere people are dying and there's corruption i mean there is corruption but uh, everyone is suffering and everyone is in pain no it's not that kind it's more like uh, oh yeah we, we're here oh we gotta be tracing with thieves and <laughs> i mean we have corruptions but it's a uh, very friendly lore i would say for now there's no hardcore stuff for now it's very very friendly um so that's that's about the story storytelling uh in terms of environment environmental environment design environment design is very uh city city like city streets like uh there's no uh, there's not much sci-fi it's aside from the monsters aside from the monsters and uh, um a bit of mechanical stuff it's not very sci-fi it's more like street um city style um it is uh yeah yeah it, it, it is let's say uh yeah, it's really street city style, not not uh, not modern, not not super modern. I mean, not super modern, but but uh, they have like some technical stuff with robots and uh, computers, but they don't have like uh, for now. There's no um, let's say high houses uh, or or tall building. It's more like a classic city for now in terms of an environment. But we'll see later maybe we get more different uh, environment but it's like a normal city so i would say in terms of uh, environment design they went the easy route because uh it's uh the easiest route to create a city you know <laughs> a classic city so yeah it's more like present style yeah more present style it's not uh it's not sci-fi it's not there's some bra a little bit yeah more mechanical exactly like is there some mechanical stuff uh the fantasy would be or the sci-fi would be in the monsters but other than that it's more the it's more uh present style so if you like CT style and more present style, more uh, real life uh, style with normal people, you know. But 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 one thing that I liked in the environment is that we have uh, um, that it's normal to have characters that are not humans. It's not something special. It's normal, and people don't look at someone with like a cat tail weirdly. So it's part of. It's an integral part of the environment and that's something i liked but in the city the fact that it's a city for now i mean a street street city with some uh, graffitis and all that for now it's like very classic i would say very easy to do so not very impressed in that manner and i'm not very impressed in the environment not really um the npc uh it was cool to see that depending on the hours the npc change uh, we have some uh, some good good uh, good ideas there and um and uh, the visual is always like very cartoonish and all that so very i would say it, it can be pleasing to everyone but it's not like too it's it's very simple i would say like not not complex not difficult to understand no, not apocalyptic no angelic it's straight normal <laughs> uh but yes yeah, so that's that's what it is about the environment uh but i would say i'm a little bit um not impressed at all about the, the environment yes not I'm impressed <laughs> i played on kai impact third i'm much more impressed there <laughs> and with what it can do but it's not the same style either you know <laughs> um next is character design character design so unfortunately i am the worst one to judge character design in that game because it shows as i say that shows the streetwear style and i'm someone who dislikes streetwear style in general so 
Because it shows the streetwear style and I don't like streetwear style, I actually don't like the character design in general. Uh, I have not grown attached and I'm not uh, ob obsessed with any character. I don't really... Uh, character the character designs is not my style. It's not because... it's not bad. I mean, I can't judge if it's good or bad. I can judge though that this main character right behind me is bad though. <laughs> this one, she's bad. Because she's very... her outfit is all over the place. I know a bit of streetwear, but not enough to judge the characters in the games. But I can see that this character is very, very all over the place in terms of design. Um, but the other characters, I can't really judge. I just know that they are not really my style. That's really what it is. So what would you wear on the street? Well, <laughs> I am a very, <laughs> you would say, classical French person. <laughs> I wear a classical outfit, you know, <laughs> on the street. I just wear like a, a nice, nice little uh, dress or like a little, little skirt with a very uh, nice... Uh, you know what I wear on my avatars in 3D? That's what I wear <laughs> outside. You know, the skirt, the beautiful little skirt with a very, very fluffy, um, elegant, elegant shirt with a, a little bow. That's the kind of outfit that I wear outside, so that's why. <laughs> but hey, other than, other than this style, I also would wear a suit a suit and tie and all that too, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm always very classy in, in... My style is, uh, let's say, businesswoman classy style in general. Uh, so yeah, so that's why. <laughs> Classical French lady, I would say. <laughs> You know the the rumors about. <laughs> I'm so I'm so not original. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, in terms of character design, my favorite character design and my favorite style in a game is usually uh, fantasy uh, or armors or cyber, like full on cyber. Uh, so it's my favorite style. So that's why, of course, streetwear and streetwear is the style that I like the least. I would say. Uh, so um, it's even grandmaster I prefer than streetwear. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's why I would say I absolutely don't like the character designs at all. To to be honest, to be honest, but it's just my point of view. Okay, it's my. It doesn't mean it's ugly. It doesn't mean it's bad. It's just not for me. But it doesn't. It's not because the character the character design is like this that I can't appreciate the the game in itself. You know, of course, it's gonna be harder to appreciate the game in itself because I mean it's a gacha game and the principle is to get more characters. So, of course, it's harder to like a game like that. But I still really like the game in itself. But yeah, character design not my style. I can't judge, so I'm not gonna judge that category so you judge for yourself if you like streetwear <laughs> let this person wear that street stuff darling <laughs> let them oh you little peasant how dare you touch my stuff <laughs> but yeah, i can say though that um in terms of quality uh quality wise uh sometimes i can see the texture being a little bit low quality but I don't know. Maybe it can maybe add to add to the to the cartoonish style. You know the comic style that they want to go for. Uh, like for example, the zipper, the zipper here on this character. You can see it's very very big and ugly gray. <laughs> but this can be a deliberate choice for the cartoonish style, which make it the cartoonish style actually. So maybe the reason that's the reason, but I still feel like sometimes um, the characters are a little. It's a little bit sad because they put very vibrant colors on the VFX, but the characters and themselves are not very vibrant. They are very uh, toned and very. I don't know, but it's, it's just not my style, so I can't really judge. But yeah. <laughs> And in terms of quality, all that, some sometimes the, the visual looks a little bit, a little bit low quality sometimes, but 
it's maybe just me that have high taste high high level <laughs> high level test of being <laughs> big thinking they are petted no i'm joking but yeah uh now so that's that the character design and i separate the character design from the character gameplay which is not the the same at all uh character design not liking it character gameplay though uh i do like uh some of them not all oh no yeah i have another problem with character design i forgot another problem i have is that it's mostly petite characters it's mostly petite characters and i wish we could have more real mummies and from what i could see uh, there's one that could be a little bit mummy but other than that they're not really mummies in general <laughs> They're not really about music in general. <laughs> so I'm a little sad that most characters are petite characters and I wish they would have. But I mean, um, I I think it's logical. It's not a game that is going this route. Um, I mean, I mean, I like badass mummies and I think they're not going this route. I, I don't think we're going to have maybe we're gonna have badass ladies but not badass mommies mommies will probably be more like soft and beautiful and elegant but not necessarily badass i think <laughs> but yeah so um, that's another thing i have is like uh, i'm saddened that it's mostly petite characters but another good thing is that we have more originality in the characters. So we have like a big bad wolf guy and we have a demon girl with blue skin and that's very cool. Uh, we have a, a, a bear boy. Uh, we have more originality and we have a shark girl with a shark tail and that's cool. I like the fact that there's more original, uh, original designs, uh, more things that are not humans. Uh, more um, more colors, more skin colors. I hope we're gonna have more characters with weird with weird skin colors. I'm mean, not weird, but like uh, original skin colors, you know? <laughs> I hope we're gonna have more of this, yes. Is that the good point and uh, good good news for now? Since we, have, we also have a shark girl with a shark tail. Good animation. Oh yeah, they also have good animation. Oh yeah, so now we character in character gameplay. They have good animation. Uh, the gameplay is super fluid, super nice, super... Um, uh, they have like good uh, VFX weapons. Uh, in terms of weapons, we have the classic weapons. Uh, with guns, uh, with uh, with hammers and, and uh, I don't know, spatula. <laughs> <laughs> and uh fighting with boots or gloves or thing we have the classic for now so not not really uh, it's not completely it's not very there's no special things to say about that just like in every game we have the classic gunners and the classic fighters and we have a magical characters puppet ma a puppet master too um yeah it's in terms of uh, character gameplay, we have the classics, uh, but some some are fast paced, some are slow paced, but they all do kind of original stuff in each between each other. There's no repetition between each other. I would say, as someone who don't really like playing gunners in general, uh, the, the gunners are pretty fast-paced and dynamic, so it's kind of cool, but I still don't like playing gunners. <laughs> in whichever games, the only, the only games I like to play gunners on is PGR. <laughs> Not even Wuthering Wave. <laughs> PGR is the only one that made me like gunners. <laughs> but yeah, so... I would say overall pretty good game overall i would say um the game is accessible to everyone it's not hardcore it doesn't demand too much intelligence <laughs> it, demand, it doesn't demand too much uh very oh and i forgot to say yeah you have like a lot of funny little games funny little things um I wonder if the TV part is gonna be all the time, every time we do a quest, but it's kind of funny. 
kind of like it uh but maybe on the long run after after a while it's gonna start to be annoying but that's something to see later on further in the future but i still like it so far um the little pet thing i don't know what i'm thinking so i'm about it i prefer badass things and cute stuff in general so it's not really much my thing but yeah overall i would say good games good game <laughs> i recommend i recommend it but let me tell you in terms of my liking what i prefer to what i uh let me rank all the gacha games that i've played recently uh, for me so it's my ranking for what i like so i like dark lore with dark environment and badass characters with mommies and daddies and uh uh, I'm not much of a cartoonish style in general, so that's why my point of view will differ from other people. And I like fantasy or cyber. <laughs> so, I would say in the gacha games, my top one for me, for me, <laughs> is PGR. Then I will say Wuthering Waves, then I would say Honkai Impact Third. Then I would say Zenless Zone Zero. Then I would say Genshin and finally Honkai Star Rail because I can't post, I can't put Honkai Star Rail anywhere because I don't, I can't play a turn-based game. So I put it at the end, but it doesn't mean it's the worst. It's just because I, I can't play it because it's turn-based. So it's not, turn-based is not for everyone. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't play turn base, I couldn't play the Honkai Star Rail, so don't think I'm putting it at the, the last place because it's the worst, but because it's just because I can't play it, so of course the last. <laughs> so yeah, so I say PGR with the Ring Wave, Honkai Impact Third, uh, Zenless Zone Zero, and Genshin finally. I actually, I think I hesitate between Genshin and then Zone Zero for the simple fact that I prefer fantasy over streetwear. So just because in term, in term of fantasy and open world, I prefer Genshin. In term of uh, gameplay speed uh, and uh, VFX, I prefer then Zone Zero. So they kind of like depend. <laughs> I prefer to explore in an open world than, than to be stuck in a dungeon instance instance like a uh, game, you know. <laughs> so so yeah. So that's that's my my ranking, my overview, my review of the whole overall game. I recommend testing it and making your own ID. I think it's very nice and very accessible for everyone. Everyone can appreciate it and find some things they like. I will I will keep playing it for now, uh, but we'll see eventually if uh, there's absolutely um, if there's no character design that please my eye because uh, it's not in the style that I like in general. Maybe I will stop playing it eventually and just go back to Honkai Impact Third. <laughs> <laughs> but but for now i will keep playing it and see for myself because i think i haven't played enough to know and judge for real the entirety of the game but we'll see so for now that's what i'm thinking <laughs> i hope you like my review i hope you think my review is a fair a fair review and i hope you think uh, i uh, I hope you're not mad at me for not liking <laughs> the street style, streetwear style. And I hope you have a lot of fun playing this game if you eventually play the game. Yeah, that would be cool. So let's, uh, let's, uh, I'm gonna send you somewhere else uh, to someone uh, playing the game. Yes, do we have a friend playing the game? Oh, <laughs> do we game review? Yeah. <laughs> It's very honest on what I feel about it. So you you if you don't have the same opinion, you're free to have another opinion. I'm not judging you and I'm not gonna hate you because you have a different opinion. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you had a lot of fun. I hope you had a great time. Uh, I'm gonna send you to Yume Kazakawa, which is playing Zenless on Zero. So maybe they are further than me, we'll see. And so you can appreciate more gameplay of it. Yes. And appreciate some gaming. <laughs> you try it 
by yourself so you know you never know if you like a game or not before you play it so you better you better try give it a chance 